Philippines is a paradise, showcasing amazing landscapes such as the nearly perfect cone of Bicol's Mayon Volcano to the deceptive and irresistible visuals of Bohol's chocolate hills. The country also offers bodies of water, with highly diverse marine wildlife and seascape, from Palawan's infamous subterranean river to the unbelievably beautiful Tubataha reefs. Our seas hide a majestic treasure, one of which was uncovered just kilometers east of northern Luzon, the Benham Rice. Is this place truly a treasure found or a treasure that we will soon lose? The Benham Rice was discovered by an American geologist by the name of Andrew Benham and mapped in the year 1933. Rumors also say that it was discovered by an American admiral named Benham after bringing his voyage with him. However, it was only until the recent period that it had been closely associated with the Philippines. It was the latest territorial addition of the Philippines after the United Nations awarded the claim to them. They made their claim back in April 8, 2009, with the United Nations Commission on the Limits of the Continental Shelf. The UN approved it in April 2012 in strict compliance with requirements of the UN CLOS. This came alongside a petition that would expand the country's baselines and exclusive economic zone. This approval would help the Philippines benefit from the strong mineral and gas deposits in the said region. It was then renamed to the Philippine Rice on May 16, 2017, after Philippine President Rodrigo Duterte signed Executive Order No. 25 stating, All departments, subdivisions, agencies, and instrumentalities of the government shall henceforth use and employ the name Philippine Rice in all official documents in referring to the undersea feature. On May 15, 2018, President Duterte signed a proclamation that declared the Philippine rice a marine protected area. He would later assert the country's sovereignty over the area. The Benham rice is a 13 million hectare undersea region located east of Luzon off the coast of Aurora province. It is a seismically active undersea region and extinct volcanic ridge in the Philippine Sea. The UN now recognizes the Philippines' claim and the country's territory has increased to 43 million hectares from 30 million hectares. There are four major values in terms of resources for the Benham rice. First is biodiversity conservation, as the region is home to healthy ecosystems, including massive coral reef growth in an area called Benham Bank that remains relatively untouched by humans. Second is fisheries, as the Philippine rice is a rich fishing ground. It is used as an important spawning and nursery ground for all the oceanic tuna species including the highly endangered Pacific bluefin tuna and tunas that are highly migratory species and feeds not just the people of the Philippines but also the western central Pacific region and the coral triangle. Third is the big possibility of finding metallic minerals in the area including sulfides like gold and copper. Fourth is Benham rice has potential for accumulation of gas hydrates or methane which could be explored by the Philippines in partnership with other countries. Gas hydrates are believed to be larger hydrocarbon resource than all of the world's oil, natural gas, and coal resources combined. And if efficiently and economically developed, it could become the next energy game changer. Benham rice is undoubtedly rich in resources. And the ultimate question is, how will the government prioritize and determine the use of the Philippine rice region to best serve the interests of the majority of the Filipino people for the long term? In 2004, unknown to Philippine authorities at the time, an unauthorized Chinese ship surveyed Benham rice without consent of the Philippine government. 
In 2017, the International Hydrographic Organization approved proposals submitted by China, naming five undersea features in Benham Rice, which were submitted in 2014 after conducting hydrographic surveys of the area since 2004. During March of 2017, Chinese survey ship was spotted around Benham Rice from November 2016 to January 2017 without the knowledge of key government offices such as the DFA and the Department of National Defense. Later that month, in a news conference, a Chinese foreign ministry spokesperson stated that the Philippines cannot claim Benham Rice as part of its territory despite the United Nations officially recognizing the area as part of the country's continental shelf in 2012. In May 2017, the Philippine government issued Executive Order No. 25 renaming Benham Rice to Philippine Rice to assert the country's sovereign rights and jurisdiction over the area. In February 2018, President Duterte ordered a stop to all foreign marine studies and research being conducted in Benham Rice during the 22nd cabinet meeting. Foreign researchers would have to obtain approval from the Philippine Marine Research Authorities before being able to explore Benham Rice. Benham Rice is at least to the public a relatively uncharted area, but it truly is one of our hopes in rebuilding all oceans in the Philippines. The information we know about the region is only in the shallows. There's still so much more to uncover and understand. This issue is still largely unnoticed by the government, so it is our responsibility to let them know the importance of it to the archipelago as a whole. In the Marine Science Institute at UP de Liman, experts are gathering information about its beauty and potential. We will gather more information and hopefully with this, send out a message by utilizing the power of social media to target Filipinos, especially the younger generations. These small steps can hopefully lead to some breakthroughs, building a staircase of success for our future.